Hello, Aternum, and welcome to KOTT News, Aternum's number one source for news. And this is the War Report. Dynamic change in the history of Aternum last night as the forces of OPR Esports convert the citizenry in the northern mountain ranges of Morningdale. KOTT News caught up with one of the victors moments before the server went down for service. Congratulations on your victory here in Morningdale where you were able to successfully overcome the forces of HBM and bring the spark to the citizens of uh, Greyvale. How do you feel about your success here? I feel like we did pretty good. That's about all I can say. Well, now that you're in, uh, in command here, what are your intentions against the forces of the Corrupted? Just going to hold it off till the expansion comes and then see what happens after that. Are you looking forward to any of the changes to the laws of armed conflict? I'm looking forward to the open world PvP, baby. Quickly to the weather for tonight, and it's going to be a day of sun up, sun over, and sun down once again. But look out as the blanket of night covers a turnum and the corruption invasion forces return across 20% of the island. Another submission for simulated fantasy combat resolution tonight brought to you by LARPCO. Remember, if it isn't LARPCO, it's cardboard. Tonight, the syndicate members of Fresh Bench assault the Covenant hero worshippers of Outcast for control of the master fishing swamp delta of Reekwater. Returning after a week away, Fresh Bench take a fresh look at the Outcasts and think they have the solution this time. Seeking to secure the swampland and more of the central corridor in the name of the syndicate. But the outcasts are well rested and prepared to stand their ground, strengthened by the support of the citizens of the island who continue to share their faith in the spark against the various forces of the island. Be sure to tune in for complete coverage and reactions from the citizens tonight at 11. Until then, this has been War Correspondent John Chalant, KOTT News.